Hey, wanted to do a short video uh, today, uh, kind of talking about improv a little bit more. Um, in a previous video, I talked about the blues scale, and um, blues scale is six notes. And uh, if we subtract one of those, uh, we're left with five, of course, and we call that the pentatonic scale, because uh, it's got five notes, of course. And the easiest place to find the pentatonic scale on uh, the piano would be on the black keys. Black keys are a naturally occurring uh, pentatonic scale. Okay, so if you are just kind of getting familiar with the piano, you're going to see groups of three and groups of two black keys. Okay, now of course we can call these sharps or flats. We don't need to worry about the name so much because we're going to jump right into playing. Um, one of my favorite things about the pentatonic scale is if you take your foot, put it on the right, right pedal, uh, which you may have, even if you're on a keyboard, uh, electric keyboard, you probably have a pedal. And that's going to allow the notes to sustain. Okay, so we can hear all, we're, they're all ringing together. And uh, at least to me, that sounds very harmonious. Okay, relaxing almost. Right? If I chose, let's say, five other notes at random. So the pentatonic scale, we can, we can really just jump right in because our ear really uh, is attuned to that. And part of that is because a lot of folk music is based on the pentatonic scale. Write your own melody, make it famous, make it a, a new folk tune that everybody sings for the next thousand years using the pentatonic scale. <laughs> no pressure. Um, but uh, let's start simple. Okay. So uh, on the piano, of course, one of the hardest things to do uh, is getting the, uh, the hands together, right? You know, as you know. So um, we can start with just our right hand for a second. Now I'm going to take my foot off the pedal, so I'm going to be a little bit more melodic here. hearing right now this note here is G flat and we're gonna call that do so if you are familiar with your solfege do re mi fa so la ti do this is do re mi so okay and if this note G flat is do that means that that feels like the home key or the the, the, the destination right so that when we get to the end of the song <laughs> So let's start out with maybe just some right hand. And my second phrase there ended on do again. Okay. So of course, if we're thinking about how to get our left hand in there, remember the left hand usually plays more of a harmonic role, so it's not going to be doing so much as it might just be doing this. Yeah, and that's an easier way to start anyway. But by adding that left hand, we've established a sort of tonal base. Mm, oh, that's our key. As long as that stays our key, we're going to play around, and our melody is always going to try to make its way back to Do. Eventually, right? But of course, it's really the stuff that happens in the middle, between the beginning and the end, is what makes the music interesting, right? So it's a question of what types of things can we do, all right? Now, one thing I haven't really done much of is chords yet. Plenty of chords you can make with black keys. Okay, so you can always play around with that and see what kind of cool uh, harmonies you can come up with. Okay, and again, if I want to put them together, okay. all right. Now let's just think about one other option here. If we stay with these black keys. 
Uh, as you're probably uh, aware, we have in music a lot of times this dichotomy between major and minor. So the key I was just in, as you can probably hear, it's the happy sounding chord. That's our major, right? So if I switch over here, we're hearing minor now. And this note right here is E flat, and that's going to be my new do. So now I'm in. Right. What can I do with that? Let's see if it sounds different from my previous improv. give you a little intro there and then I'll, I'll try to do a little um, improv right now uh, using just the black keys and I think what I like to do is I'll, I'll, I'll start simple something that feels uh, uh, doable and then we'll maybe make it more complex as we go so here we go 